In one of the mental institutions, there's a girl named Anna, who has schizophrenia because of the fire incident's trauma that killed her mother and she has been there for the past 10 months. Anna is currently talking to her doctor, Dr. Silberling, about the death of her mother, but Anna only remembers the incident vaguely. She remembers that before the incident, her mother was sick so she was moved into the boathouse and her mother felt alone there where she isn't supposed to be alone. She also remembers something about the little red-headed girl and watering can but wasn't quite sure the meaning of them. Dr. Silberling praised Anna because she already did her best. He also says that Anna can go back home and finish what she started. Feeling excited Anna prepares her things in her room meanwhile Anna's father, Stephen, is already waiting for Anna outside. When Anna is about to go, she's surprised by a girl who's another patient across her room in the hospital. She tells Anna that she's sad Anna has recovered already and no one will listen to her story anymore. However, Anna ignores her and goes outside to meet with her father. On their way home, Stephen gives Anna biscuits and she eats it right away. But when Anna finds out that it's made by Rachel, Stephen's new girlfriend, her expression suddenly changes. Arriving at home, Anna immediately looks for her sister, Alex, and finds her swimming in the ocean. Anna then approaches her and meets Rachel in the hallway. Rachel immediately says hi to Anna once she sees her, but Anna ignores her and rushes outside the house to meet Alex. When she's outside, she is surprised to see the boathouse is still there like it has never been destroyed. Alex then approaches her and asks Anna why she didn't reply to any of her letters but turns out Anna never accepts the letters. Alex then approaches her father asking for an explanation, but Stephen keeps ignoring her. Outside the window, Anna hears their conversation and afterwards Alex runs towards the woods. Later on, Anna sees Rachel in the kitchen. Rachel says that she hopes Anna can accept her so they can start building a good relationship. Looking around, Anna realizes that there are a lot of changes in their kitchen. She then asks Rachel where are their old belongings. Rachel replies that they are in the attic. Anna then goes there and finds their old belongings such as her mother's bell. At night, Anna hears her mother's bell and someone approaches her. But it turns out that it was all a dream. Alex then suddenly goes into Anna's room and Anna shows their mother's bell to Alex, but Alex tells Anna to throw it because the bell is bought by Rachel in a pet store. The next day, Anna and Alex are swimming together in the ocean. Suddenly, Anna's ex-boyfriend, Matt, approaches them. Alex, who sees Matt, leaves Anna alone. It turns out that Matt is their family's courier who always delivers their family needs. Matt then tells her that the night the fire incident happened, Matt was there and he saw the real incident. However, before he can tell Anna more about it, Rachel approaches them and they both stop talking. At night, Anna gets curious and gets inside her father's room looking for something and suddenly, she remembers a glimpse of her past memory about the incident. Anna then goes to the boathouse by herself to recall the memory. Inside the boathouse, Anna is startled by the appearance of her mother. Her mother's ghost points out towards the main house and shouts murderer. Alex suddenly comes and calms Anna. Moreover, they see Rachel by chance outside the boathouse just like the direction that the ghost just pointed out. Because of that, Anna starts to think the fire incident in the boathouse is caused by Rachel. The following day, Anna and Alex are talking about their suspicion towards Rachel. But suddenly Rachel comes and asks Anna to go shopping in town with her. Anna agreed after Alex convinced her that she needed to talk to Matt about what happened that day. At the cafe in town, while they are waiting for their food, Rachel tells Anna a story about a pearl necklace that was given by Rachel's ex-patient a long time ago. Afterwards, Anna sees three kids in the restaurant that are the same kids that she saw in her dream before. When Anna sees Matt arriving at his shop, Anna asks Rachel to start shopping. At Matt's shop, Anna immediately follows Matt from behind and she asks him what he saw on the day of the fire incident. However, Matt is busy at the moment so he tells Anna to meet him at the rock at 11 p.m. Afterwards, Rachel comes and tells Matt not to deliver their family needs anymore. Arriving at home, Anna approaches Alex who is currently rummaging through Rachel's bedroom. Alex then finds a box of sedatives that can even calm a horse. At night, Alex and Anna go to the rock, but Matt doesn't come. Then, they both decide to go back home and promise to see Matt the next day. When she sleeps, Anna is having a nightmare. It's about the three kids she just saw earlier at the cafe. When she awakes, Anna finds Matt sneaking through the window and gets inside Anna's bedroom. Anna says to Matt that she waited for him, but Matt replied he hurt his back that's why he didn't come. Matt also says that Anna's mother once warned him about something, but he ignored her. Moreover, before he tells her about the fire incident, suddenly Matt disappears and when she goes outside her room, it is already in the morning. Outside their house, the police find someone at the lake that turns out to be Matt. After Matt is being evacuated, 
A sheriff called Emery tells Anna that Matt died because he fell out of the boat and hurt his back. Anna is getting confused because it was exactly like Matt told her a few moments ago. At home, Anna tells her father that Rachel is the one who kills Matt because Rachel doesn't want Anna to know the real story of that fire incident from Matt. However, Stephen only thinks that Anna still can't accept Rachel's presence. Later on, Anna cries in her room and explains to Alex what just happened to her. Anna also shows the bruises on her hands because of Matt's grips towards his hand. She also convinces Alex that she's not crazy or even hallucinating. Furthermore, Anna and Alex try to find any information about Rachel's real identity by calling Rachel's old hospital where she used to work. Nevertheless, the name of Rachel is not registered. Anna then approaches Rachel who is preparing for the party that will be held in their house tonight and asks her about her real identity. Anna tells her that Rachel Summer is a teacher in New Orleans who already died five years ago. Instead of explaining about her identity, Rachel says that Anna isn't fully recovered yet and letting her out from the hospital was a mistake. When the night comes, the guest is arriving, Anna and Alex promise to report Rachel to the police tomorrow. Afterwards, Anna approaches her father and he asks Anna to help Rachel. Finally, Anna helps Rachel to prepare for the roast and to take out the trash. When she takes out the trash, a can rolls under the oven and Anna is about to take it, but then something comes out. Surprised, the beef she just made falls out so it can't be served to the guest. Seeing that Rachel gets angry, Stephen asks Anna to go back to her bedroom. After the party ends, Anna approaches Stephen in his bedroom. Anna tells Stephen that Rachel isn't a good person he thought. However, Stephen still believes in Rachel and he also tells Anna that he and Rachel will get married soon. He hopes that Anna will understand him. The next day, Stephen goes outside the town for work. At the same time, Rachel tells Anna and Alex to dress up for Matt's funeral. Later on, Anna sees a girl ghost that she has seen at the cafe before. Curious, Anna follows the girl that leads her to the Wright's graveyard. There are three children's graves there. Arriving at home, Anna and Alex are looking for the information of what happened to Wright's family. It turns out that Wright's children get killed by their nanny named Mildred Kemp who's still 19 years old. The incident happened because Mildred had been romantically obsessed with Dr. Wright, the father of the children. Dr. Wright also lost his wife in a car accident. However, when police were about to catch Mildred, she disappeared without a trace. The news also contains the picture of Dr. Wright's late wife who was wearing a pearl necklace that was similar to Rachel's necklace. Anna then also remembers that the necklace was the gift from her previous patient. Knowing those facts, Anna and Alex plan to steal the necklace because it can be strong evidence to report Rachel to the police. Meanwhile Anna and Alex are talking, Rachel is already outside their room listening to their conversation. At night, Anna and Alex are about to steal Rachel's necklace in Rachel's bedroom, but the door is locked. Then they plan to get inside her room through the window. Alex is the one who gets inside Rachel's bedroom through the window and Anna goes to the sheriff's station to ask for help. When Anna is about to leave, she hears a voice from Rachel's bedroom. Anna immediately goes to Rachel's bedroom and she finds that the door in Rachel's bedroom is already opened. Anna goes inside and starts looking for the necklace. However, when she is still searching through the room, Rachel appears holding the pearl necklace and tells Anna she can have it. Anna is going to take the necklace, but suddenly Rachel wants to inject Anna with sedatives. Anna manages to escape with the necklace and she starts looking for Alex. Anna then finds Alex laying on the floor half unconscious because she was sedated by Rachel. Alex whispers to Anna to go to the sheriff's place immediately. When Anna arrives at the sheriff's station, she tells Emery that the fire incident is caused by Rachel and also Rachel's identity as Mildred. Anna didn't forget to give the pearl necklace that belonged to Dr. Wright's late wife to Emery. Speechless, Emery asks Anna to wait at his office. Anna then begs him to go back to their house because she is concerned about Alex's well-being. Emery assures Anna that no one will get hurt with a strange look. Anna then falls asleep and she sees her mother's ghost that turns out to be Rachel. Surprisingly, Emery isn't looking for help, but instead he calls Rachel. Emery is also helping Rachel to sedate Anna and bring her home. When they arrive at the house, Rachel lays Anna on her bed and changes her clothes. Anna, who is still half awake, tries to take the knife besides her, but then she passes out. She sees Alex approach her before she passes out again. Afterwards, Anna wakes up and realizes that the knife that was beside the bed earlier is gone. She also sees a lot of blood on the floor. She follows the blood that leads her to the garbage in front of her house. She then opens it and is surprised to see Rachel is dead. Alex then approaches her and tells her that she needs to kill Rachel. Anna, who sees Alex is okay, immediately hugs her. Not long after that, 
Stephen arrives and gets confused about what just happened. Anna then tells Stephen that the one who caused the fire in the boathouse is Rachel. Anna also tells him that Rachel sedates them and tries to hurt them, but Alex manages to stop her. Stephen then asks Anna if she remembers what happened to Alex. The plot twist is that it turns out Alex already died along with her mother in the boathouse. Therefore, after all this time Alex is not real and Anna is doing all of them alone. The reason that Emery is bringing Rachel earlier is because Emery already knows that Alex is dead when Anna told him to save Alex. Emery knows that something is wrong with Anna so he calls Rachel to pick Anna up. Anna then remembers what happened one year ago. She saw his father cheating with Rachel. Anna got angry because she felt her mother was betrayed and she tried to burn their house down along with Stephen and Rachel in it. While bringing the lantern, she goes to the boathouse to take gasoline on the first floor and her mother's room is on the second floor. In the boathouse, Alex asked Anna to come back to the party, but Anna ignored her and brought a can full of gasoline out of the boathouse. However, when she was out, she didn't close the faucet of the gasoline that makes the gasoline keep flowing to the floor. Alex, who got annoyed because she got ignored, closed the door roughly that made the lantern fall out and caused the fire. On the other hand, her mother's bell was ringing and Alex immediately went to her room, but at the same time the fire from the lantern snatching into the gasoline that caused the explosion that killed Alex and her mother inside. Because of that incident, Anna can't accept the truth and make her own reality. Even Matt's death is caused by Anna. It turns out that night Anna and Matt met up and Anna pushed Matt because Matt told her the real story and she can't accept the truth. Furthermore, when Anna is sedated, it turns out Anna managed to get the knife and killed Rachel. The next day, police come to take out Rachel's body and bring Anna for interrogation. Stephen is speechless and can't believe what just happened. Emery then asks Stephen why Rachel's name from her driver license is different from her passport. He told him that Rachel changed her name three years ago from Rachel Worshingsey to Rachel Summer because of her ex-boyfriend that keeps disturbing her. It also turns out that Mildred is already caught by the police. The movie ends when Anna is back to her mental hospital and she tells Dr. Silberling that she did what the doctor told her which is to finish what she started and the most shocking thing is that the patient who lives across her room is Mildred Kemp, the killer of Wright's children. The plot twist of this movie will drive you crazy and just like Dr. Silbering said sometimes we survive by forgetting. Thank you for watching and see you next time.